We've been doing this for since '82, so that makes 27 years. We've been doing whatever we want. Yeah, hold her around. And um, and what I'm finding at the farmers market because we're kind of new at the scallops. We, we tried to grow them a few years ago and uh, did a little bit with them, but I'm it's really I'm in the learning curve with them. And I find for everybody who wants a big scallop, there's somebody who wants a little one too, which is kind of nice. So we don't worry too much about size on them, let people pick what they want, and, and you know, but I, wow. but I, okay, so, <laughs> I just, I mean, when you see a real scallop shucker do this, he does it in two seconds, and they're on there, and so what they do out in the boats, they'll grab the frill and this, and they pull it back, and they just left with the, the adductor muscle there, but, you know, the Europeans and Asians who are customers at the at the market just can't understand why it's all thrown away. I mean, you eat everything on the oyster, and you eat everything on the mussel, and you eat everything on the clam, and, and just, well, lobsters too, but different different animal, a lobster. But for all these mollusks, you know, every other one we eat everything. And So that's, that's the only thing that most people eat. That's the only thing wow. that most people eat. And yet, the flavor in the frill... It's just gorgeous. Now, Indian pointers have always eaten the whole thing because there was, you know, this bay grows a nice wild scallop too. Not many anymore, but there used to be, you know, people who made their living here and they always put them in the oven and they put uh, cracker crumbs and milk and, you know, and then and, and do it that way. And so. Swing and make you go from the left to the right. And the 